Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. So last week I showed you this new mini LED TV and a few of you asked what the difference was between this TV and other TVs available. So today I'll do a quick overview of what a mini LED TV does differently to normal LED backlit TVs and why it's evolved into being the best LCD TV available right now. I've linked to the QNED99 in the description, which is the TV we're looking at today. So if you want to check that out, you can do so, but let's jump straight in. So obviously TVs have been around for quite some time, and over the last 50 years we have seen different variations, including CRT, plasma, projectors, LCD TVs, then more recently self-lit OLEDs. Now we know that OLEDs, generally speaking, are classed as the premium TV due to their self-lighting pixels, but they aren't perfect. They aren't as bright as an LCD. Plus you could say they've almost hit a ceiling in terms of improving on themselves. Whereas LCD is still evolving, it's still getting better. We've had CCFL, edgelit, and backlit TVs. Then recently we've seen mini LED TVs, which is what we're showing today. Now this is still an LCD TV, but it's better at improving the contrast and color reproduction with its full array local dimming. So this brings us to the TV that I'm showing you today. This is the 75 inch QNED 99, and that features the new mini LED technology. Now QNED isn't new. It's not a new technology like we've seen with OLED, but it is a step up from LCD, and you could argue the ultimate iteration that we've seen so far. It's an LCD TV with a mini LED backlight, so that means it's capable of controlling far more areas or zones of the TV. In fact, there are thousands of mini LEDs. This means that if you've got an image on screen that's showing both a dark and a light area, the mini LEDs will have more control turning those LEDs off in the dark areas, and that will result in deeper blacks. This will make a huge difference to the overall look of the picture and the contrast too. Compare that to previous or other LCD TVs that are available on the market, they just don't have the number of zones these mini LED TVs have. You're going to see a halo or even light bleed around those dark areas. Now I actually remember years ago having an LCD TV that was edge lit. Now if you've ever had an edge lit TV, you'll know just how bad those dark scenes would look. You would literally have a light bleed or a halo around the edge of the screen and the entire image where it was dark would still be light, it would be like a very light grey. Black areas were never really black. As there are even more LEDs now to control those zones, it also means it increases the brightness of the screen, at least compared to regular LCD TVs. Also with this TV, LG have actually taken two technologies, the Quantum Dot and the NanoCell, to create an impressive colour reproduction. Now that along with the brightness really makes the colour pop and gives a far nicer view and experience. So if you've seen any of the NanoCell TVs, I would comfortably say that this QNED is definitely a step up in terms of the picture quality, the contrast and the brightness. Now one of the questions I actually received on the previous video that I did were, were there any cons or drawbacks of a mini LED TV? Well, other than the slightly increased price of a QNED over say a nanocell or an LED TV, well QNEDs actually share pretty much the same features as other LCDs. So the short answer is no, mini LED TVs don't have any cons over other LCD TVs. They share the same characteristics, however comparing it to an OLED is a totally different question. So considering QNED is slightly more expensive than a traditional LCD LED TV, you might wonder how this QNED compares to OLED. Well the biggest difference is an OLED doesn't just have a few thousand mini LEDs, it has millions of self-lit pixels. So every pixel on the screen can turn on and off when required. This in itself means that an OLED can produce perfect blacks, infinite contrast and incredible viewing angles. But I think a side-by-side -side comparison between a QNED and an OLED would best be saved for a separate video, something where I can actually show different viewing experiences, different games, and maybe even different movies. Now, as mentioned, this is the QNED 99. So this is the 8K screen, and it can upscale content using the A9 Gen 4 processor. Although it's still capable of 4K 120Hz, as it comes with HDMI 2.1 support on all four ports. This means it's ready for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. It has loads of other features like the game optimizer mode, AirPlay, HDR10. In fact, I did a full unboxing and review of this TV last week if you want to go and check that out. Now, during that unboxing video, a couple of you actually mentioned that you were holding off buying a mini LED and even an OLED as you were hoping to see micro LED TV soon. So I actually went away and did a little bit of reading on what a micro LED TV would offer compared to the others. So micro LED TVs are very similar to OLEDs in the fact that they are self-lit. They actually use three LEDs per pixel. This means that every pixel can be turned on and off given near perfect blacks just like an OLED. And due to the fact that the TV will be using so many micro LEDs, the TV will be brighter than an OLED. Maybe when we start to see micro LED TVs later on, maybe in the next couple of years or so, I could pick one up for review. But at the moment they sound very very promising and they could be the ultimate TV of the future, combining the best bits from an LED TV and an OLED. 
But over the years, seeing the differences between different LCD TVs that have been released, it's great to see that we've seen this massive progression in terms of the LED technology. I think QNED mini LED TVs really are one of the best backlit TVs that I've ever seen, and it's awesome to have been using it over the last couple of weeks. I'll only have this TV for another week or so, and I wanted to do a full side-by-side -side comparison with this QNED against my C1 OLED. Let me know what you'd like to see in that video, and I'll try and get those compared over the next week or two. I know they have totally different technologies, but it might be interesting to see how close a QNED is to an OLED, and what the pros and the cons are. So please drop any suggestions below, types of content, scenes, gaming, brightness, anything that you'd like to see, I will try to get that content created. I'm also considering doing a full dedicated video on the QNED 99 just for gaming. So again, any suggestions for games that you'd like to see, please drop those in the comments too. Well, you've made it to the end of this video, so thank you for watching. Let me know what type of TV that you are currently using, and I will give you a thumbs up for staying until the end. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.